terms of the most interesting person that I've interviewed, I would say Maria Ressa, oh, yeah. who won the Nobel Prize, was amazing and just so full of energy. I interviewed her as she was sort of under house arrest. Well, I said, how do you do that? How do you still run a business and report the way you're reporting on the Philippine government under du Duterte, who was a dictator? And she said, you know, there's a glass and I just say, I sample and I just keep going and just do what I have to do. And like nothing stops her. And she was just this bundle of great energy. That was one of the people. And another would be, I interviewed a survivor of the Holocaust. Oh, wow. Who, who was going to speak at a synagogue. And they asked me to do a story that would help her publicize the event. And in doing that, I interviewed her in her home. And she was amazing the story she told oh, wow. and her resilience and she was such a vibrant person like in her 70s she was playing tennis with younger people every every few days she just was so full of life that it was amazing that she had gone through what she did and lived to be seen such a happy person but what was interesting, you never, and this is like the reporter in me, when I got arrived at her house and my son, who was in high school at the time, was taking photographs, she was wearing a black and white striped sweater. Wow. And when we went to take the photographs, I thought, oh, you know, but I didn't, I mean, what can I say? I didn't say anything, but she showed me her number. Uh, but to hear that, like, right up close and to hear how... To see, um, it. to see it on someone's arm. To hear her story of going before Mengele, losing her mother. You know, she knew she had to do that. And, like, somebody pushed her at her. She was in the line and her mother pushed her to the line, which meant she was not going to be with her mother. Mm -hmm. One line was going away, that whole thing. And she just broke down and cried because she thought her mother didn't love her somehow. But the mother had a younger sibling who wasn't going to be able to work. And she said a Nazi guard found her in the bathroom, hysterical, and said, you have to go in line. And she did. Okay. And so she got set to a work camp initially. But to hear those moments, that is part of the joy of being a journalist, of hearing those moments that really changed people and seeing their story of struggle and seeing what they do to survive.